नमश्रीयतिराजाय विवेकानंदसूरजे सच्चिसुखस्वरूपाय स्वामीने तापहारिणे नमस्ते टू वन एंड ऑल दिस इज द होली अकेशन ऑफ द 125th ईयर ऑफ रिटर्न ऑफ स्वामी विवेकानंद फ्रॉम द वेस्ट ही केम बैक आफ्टर हिज विक्टोरियस विजय यात्रा इन द वेस्ट इन द ईयर 1897 एंड ही ट्रैवल्ड थ्रू वेरियस पार्ट्स ऑफ द कंट्री एस्पेशली द सदर्न रीजन एंड ही ट्रैवल टू हिज डेस्टिनेशन मीटिंग the masses of this country addressing and inspiring them in his journey so <clears throat> in 1897 on 3rd february swami ji gave an address in response to the welcome that was accorded to him in kumbhakonam the title of the address is the mission of vedanta and i have been asked to focus on one aspect of that talk and that aspect is very popular very well known to everyone the statement that arise awake stop not till the goal is reached this very inspiring spiritual statement inspirational statement that has come from swami ji is mentioned by him or it it has it has been it it manifested through swami ji uh, in this talk that he delivered in kumbhakonam on 3rd of february 1897 and as it is very well known swami ji himself in that talk states that uttishtata uh, jagrata prapya varan nibodhata this kathopanishad statement is the origin the translation of which has been given by swami ji swami vekananda as arise awake stop not till the goal is reached it is very interesting to know that in the entire talk that is the mission of the vedanta in the kumbhakonam talk swami ji quotes only two verses in sanskrit of course he refers to various uh, authentic shlokas and verses uh, from various sources but only two shlokas have been uttered by him in sanskrit one is the rigvedic utterance ekam sad vipra bahudha vadanti and the other one is this uttishtata jagrata prapya varan nibodhata the original source that is this uttishtata jagrata is part of the kathopanishad where this statement is uttered by yama dharma raja the lord of death and also dharma to nachiketas his young fearless student who wanted to know whether there is life after death to him he says uttishtata jagrata prapya varam nibodhata how apt it is that uh, before the inevitable death comes everyone should wake up and then should uh, understand that uh, true conscious nature is our true nature we have to wake up from the slumber of the sense driven life and learn about the true conscious nature of ourselves and work towards converting the understanding into realization it is to this that uh, the statement arise awake stop not till the goal is reached or uttishtata jagrata in its original context has been mentioned now coming back to swami ji's utterance what is the context in the entire talk as to why he had to mention this arise awake he says swami ji himself says and i quote let every man and woman and child without 
respect of caste or birth or weakness or strength here and learn that behind the strong and the weak behind the high and the low behind everyone that is that infinite soul assuring the infinite possibility and the infinite capacity of all to become great and good so these are the words the preceding words before he says uttishthata jagrata and arise and awake so this is the purpose swami ji wants everyone to arise and awake and understand about one's own true nature as the infinite soul and infinite possibilities that this understanding of one's own true nature brings so it is for this one should endeavor one should arise and awake now again when we ask why should we understand about the infinite nature of the soul which is our true nature for this again swami ji himself clarifies in his talk and i quote this is justice and reason as i understand it our poor people these downtrodden masses of india therefore require to hear and to know what they really are so as has been as implied in this statement swami ji opines that this awakening is the solution to the problems of inequality and such other the social maladies that exist in our country and swami ji also uh, clarifies in the talk that merely denouncing the society left and right <laughs> that's not the solution merely uh, denouncing that uh, the society is uh, ridden the community is uh, ridden with so many inequalities and problems that's not the solution denunciation is not the solution awakening is the solution and hence uttishthata jagrata with regard to de denunciation also swami ji states and i quote but it is quite a patent fact that uh, this 100 years of social reform this is the period of swami ji himself says that uh, he has seen or he is analyzing the 100 years of social reform and i continued the, i continue the quote it's quite patent fact that this 100 years of social reform has produced no permanent and valuable result appreciable throughout the country platform speeches have been made by thousand denunciations in volumes after volumes and they have been hurled upon the devoted head of the hindu race and its civilization and yet no good practical result has been achieved and uh, where is the reason for that the reason is not hard to find it is in the denunciation itself so when uh, we people of south india especially understand what kind of denunciation this society is facing the hindu society is especially facing and uh, this denunciation is happening even today through the conventional media through the social media which is continuing even into the current times so denunciation to shake off that denunciation uttishthata jagrata pratyavaram nibodhata rise awake and then swami ji also in his talk clarifies about the state to be reached on awakening he states that the ideal man of our ancestors was the brahmin swami ji himself clarifies that it is to attain this brahmin hood that one should arise and awake and uh, it becomes evident uh, from his own words that uh, brahmin hood he doesn't mean it by birth he states and i quote by the brahmin ideal what do i mean i mean the ideal brahminness in which worldliness is altogether absent and true wisdom is abundantly present it is to this brahminhood that he has given the clarion call to arise and awake now in this context when swami ji is speaking about uh, this brahminhood to which everyone has to arise and awake there are nine qualities 
in the Bhagavad Gita, in the 18th chapter, that defines a Brahmana. Brahma karma svabhavajam, shamo damas tapas shaucham, shantihi arjavam evacha, jnanam vijnanam astikyam, Brahma karma svabhavajam. Nine virtues which makes or which characterizes who a Brahmana is. Shamaha, regulation of the mind, control of the mind. Damaha, control of the senses. Tapaha, upavasa and such other self-discipline activities. Shaucham, cleanliness, internal, external. Kshantihi, forgiving nature. Arjavam, straightforwardness. Jnanam, textual, factual, theoretical knowledge about our true nature. Vijnanam, efforts to experientially understand and realize about our true conscious nature and astikyam, faith, belief in God, in Atman and in the Vedic way of life. These are the nine qualities that are to be pursued towards the Brahminhood, which are the Brahminness that Swamiji had wanted uh, for each and every individual of this country. It is to attain that we have to arise and awake. So this is the context of Uttishthata and Jagrata. And again to clarify or to underline that every man and every woman and every child without respect of caste or birth, weakness or strength, these are the words of Swamiji, should aspire towards this Brahminhood. And elsewhere also in other talks also Swamiji has emphasized that Sanskrita is also another important tool, learning, practicing, mastering Sanskrita and through that gaining access to the wisdom of our rishis like uh, Vyasa, Vishwamitra and others. So that will also give us understanding and also will lead us to this higher stage of awakening about our true nature. So, Swamiji quote, another quote in the self-same talk also mentions that uh, on attaining such an awakening, what kind of a transformation will the individual, will the society achieve in his majestic and inspiring tone and tenor? Swamiji states and I quote, power will come, glory will come, goodness will come, purity will come and everything that is excellent will come when this sleeping soul is aroused to self-conscious activity. This will be the glorious state that a society and a nation will attain when it is populated with such souls with self-conscious activity. And it is for this that we, Swamiji has given this mantra, arise, awake, which has emanated from the millennia old Upanishad statement, Uttishthata Jagrata. This is the power and potential and the purpose of this clarion call given by Swamiji in Kumbhakona. And finally, there is a famous quotation in Sanskrit, Anyakshetre Kritam Papam Punyakshetre Vinashyati. All sins and negativities done elsewhere, Anyakshetra, will melt away when we come to a Punyakshetra. Kumbhakona, Kumbhakonam is a Punyakshetra. It is the place where Adi Kumbheshwara is there, Sharangapani is there and such other great divinities have taken their abode. So it's a veritable uh, Punyakshetra with the Mahamaha tank that purifies anyone who takes a dip in that Kumbhakona holy place. This millennia old Upanishadic statement, Uttishthata Jagrata, emanating from a Punyakshetra like Kumbhakonam, uttered by a spiritual powerhouse like Swami Vivekananda. So it's very special. So even when it is recollected and implemented, to the extent possible in this juncture of its 125th year of utterance, I feel and I have a firm conviction that it still has that 
potential it is potent enough to address the problems of the current era and uh, lead to a glorious revival of our civilization which will which will guide the entire humanity as such धन्यवाद thank you very much